If you're a prepper or a survivalist and you have children, you're going to want to check this video out. Today we're going to take a look at how to pack your children's bug out bags. Now my wife and I kind of went through a process on this. What did we want in? What didn't we want in? What's practical? What's not practical? And here's what we came up with. But before we even get started, let's take a look at this from the perspective that as with everything in prepping, you have to figure out what's going to work best for you and your situation. Your kids may be almost adults. They're going to carry big full bags. If your kids are really small, they may not be big enough to carry a bag at all. But you want to pack with them in mind. Let's take a look. These are the bags that we have for our two children now, our seven-year-old and our five-year-old. And with them in mind, we wanted to pack bags that were practical. Overloading the bags with survival stuff isn't going to help them if they can't carry it. And packing a bunch of things that they don't know how to use isn't going to help them either. So part of this exercise is making sure that what you pack in your bag, your children are familiar with and know how to use. We also have a very young one in the house, and we pack her diaper bag with an eye toward a bug out situation if that were to come up. We pack more diapers and more wipes than probably are necessary, a couple extra sets of clothes, and we also have some powdered milk to go along with that water so that we'd be able to give her something other than water in a survival situation, at least for a short time. Now let's take a look at the contents of these bags. Here are the items that we have packed in our kids survival bags and the beauty of this is that the total weight on these things is about seven pounds per pack so it's not bad at all they've got a few granola bars some chocolate trail mix some bungee cords a full tang survival knife with a little bit of paracord on here and it's got a whistle and a compass as well some duct tape some zip ties a rain poncho a cup some hand warmers dryer lint, steel wool, a 9 volt battery, a lighter, a ferro rod, and matches. That's their fire starting stuff. They've got this Kershaw knife in here. Now they don't all have exactly the same equipment, but they've got uh, you know, the, the equivalent of it. That's a, a small Kershaw folder. They've got each got a flashlight in their bags. We've got an emergency space blanket, some mosquito repellent, glow sticks, a toothbrush holder and a toothbrush, a multi-tool, a multi-function knife, a mosquito repellent band, some twine, a 4x6 tarp and a 5x7 tarp, this Sawyer mini water filter. Now the kids actually have the life straws, I just didn't pull them out of the bag, but they each have a water filtration system, a collapsible water bottle, some paracord, and a steel water bottle to collect water. Now that's what we have decided and what we have prioritized to put in our kids' survival packs. I'm dying to hear what you guys think and get your feedback. As always, this is an individualized thing that you have to figure out what works best for you and for your situation. So let me know what you think, and let me know what you would include that I didn't, and maybe what I did include that you would not include for your children. Keep in mind that kids are different ages, different strengths, uh, and everybody's going to have a different carrying capacity. So we had, did this with an eye toward keeping it light and keeping the content simple to operate and easy to use and made sure that our kids were familiar with these. I'm Van Prepper. As always, check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Tumblr, on, of course, here on YouTube, and on Facebook as well. Happy shooting, everybody.